Well, welcome back to Unreally Guides. This is a tutorial on how to self-publish to Kindle's direct publishing program. Where we left off last time was we uploaded our book cover and I talked about how if you do not have a book cover in your Word file, for example, if you're going to upload it down here, you can actually check it and Kindle will now add your book cover to it. If you need more information on the guidelines for your product image, you um, can click right here. Now remember this is your product image. This is the image that will show up in the Kindle store. It will be put in your book if you check it, but it's not the same as the book as the cover in your book if you put it in yourself. Here we talked about digital rights management, whether or not you want to apply it. You can look at information here or again you can scroll up and there is more information on the right side. Now you are ready to browse for your book and upload it. And this I highly recommend that you preview it after you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a book and come right back. Well first I'll show you how to browse for the book. So obviously you click here and you click browse and then you go to your computer and find it. And here I've chosen a book called testing.epub and yes you can upload epub here. There is a trick though on Kindle will pull in the cover from your cover.xhtml page as well as your cover.jpg. So you do need to remove the xhtml page before you upload it. Otherwise you get a double cover. If it doesn't bother you as the double cover inside the book, then you don't have to worry about it. So now you're going to upload the book and sometimes this takes a little while and it'll show here. And you can see that it's saying it's converting the book file to a Kindle format. So that's why no matter what you publish here or upload here according to their guidelines, it will convert it to a file that is usable on the Kindle. So the upload is, conversion is successful. Now what I highly, highly recommend is you preview the book. Now not everything will show in the preview such as the table of contents. Um, I just have a simple thing here, a title, now is the time for the font newspaper and you can see that it'll switch goes to this next page you can go here to menu you can go to your table of contents which I don't have one but like I said it'll list it there you can go to the beginning and you can go to the cover now the cover may or may not show up I don't have a cover in this book but you should have a go to cover link there so once you're done previewing it then you can either save as a draft or you can save and continue. I highly recommend first saving as a draft because it will tell you if there's areas that you have not filled in that are required. Um, it'll come up in red. So it has saved it. Usually the main thing is the book name. If you do not put a book name in there, then a lot of your information disappears. I still have a description to put in, but for now we're going to skip that and go on to save and continue. Now, it is showing me now when I want to continue that it's, I can't continue and put the price in because it's adding correct items highlighted in red. This is a very good thing for you. I need a description. This is my book. Okay, we'll see if it lets me in now. Save and continue. So now we're on the final stages, the rights and pricing. And I usually choose worldwide rights, all territories, but you can choose individual if you prefer and what areas you want to put it in. Your royalty. Now it all depends on what you price your book at. Most people want of course the highest royalty but you have to be between $2.99 and $9.99. 35% royalty is $0.99 cents and $200. So it's up to you to what you choose and they will determine it through here. Here's the information about pricing. You can allow lending for this book and then once you click this you can save and pu publish or you can save for later. But you have to click this before you publish. Now, if you still have this little yellow box in the upper right where you have not filled out your account, even if you click to publish it will not publish it until you have all your account information filled in. At any time you can click the link up here. Once you've saved, and you, it'll take you back to the front bookshelf, which is by clicking bookshelf. Well, that's about it on setting up for the KDP program. If you have any other questions, visit unrulyguides.com.